Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Uh, first and foremost Aries, thank you so much for all your good wishes. I am feeling better. Well, not a hundred percent as you can see. I'm still on, not in my usual spot, but I'm getting there. And um, well, I'm very grateful. Thank you for all your wonderful, wonderful good wishes for me. Um, thank you. So let's uh, let's just start your reading. I hope I can do beyond the first one. Last uh, love bites I just started and then I kind of collapsed after that. I just did one, I think. But hopefully I'm, I'll be able to, you know, continue today. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my Aries gang and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Aries, let's start your reading. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And Aries, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us. Subscribe to the channel. Become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Aries. Uh, new newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Aries, of course, you'll know which side you're on, right? For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Okay. Bottom of my deck, I have the Ten of Wands, Aries. Somebody is very, very, very overwhelmed because they feel they've had a stroke of bad luck. They're not bad karma, bad luck, whatever you may call it. It's like, oh, oh, I'm not going to get a second chance here, it seems. Because the other person's walked away. The other person's got walked away. They're no longer looking sad or depressed. And the other person's going, hey, what do I do now? I've, uh, I've really, really killed this, haven't I? Not in a good way. So uh, before I start uh, clarifying these cards, Aries, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then, of course, we'll clarify the rest. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. They could say something to each other. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. Spirit. Oops. One more. Aries and their person. Spirit. Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Aries from another deck. And of course, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Aries and their person. Okay. And we begin. The first card here, Aries, says, I want to have a family with you. I get defensive when I feel like you're getting too close for comfort. I don't care what my family or anyone else has to say. I want you and nobody else. Waiting on you to forgive me. I promise I can change. I have a really hard time opening up my emotions to anyone. I keep hearing songs and it always reminds me of you and I. I'm having a hard time believing that you really love me. All right, Aries, these were some of your messages. I will start your reading now, of course, after an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you first. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. And here it is. Generosity. Somebody, Aries, this is time. I think I, I would take this for you and only you since I asked for a blessing for you. It's time to A, be generous to yourself and B, be ready to accept the generosity that the universe is going to be bestowing about on you. Okay, so yes, it's time to take care of you. Be generous, be kind and take care of you. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with person A. Person A, why do you have the judgment card in reverse? What's going on here? Judgment card in reverse. Knight of Pentacles wanted to show up, which means... Yes, see, somebody got caught here. 
somebody got caught here this connection got backfired on them this card i was looking at the other side and they had the same card as well five of swords in reverse this is usually a card of getting caught or self-sabotage or you know just having things not work out the way they planned so now they feel oh oh i'm, I'm caught now i'm not going to get a second chance and yes ten of swords Ten of Swords is also repeated on person A side where they feel they've really, really damaged something beautiful. They had something in hand which was like the Empress, Queen of Pentacles. So what are you thinking now, person A? Why do you have the Two of Pentacles? Why do you feel this way? The Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, Aries. That's how confused person A is. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's it. They don't know what to do. Okay. What What are you going back and forth on, person A? What are you so confused about? Okay. They, they're wondering how to bring this balance back, how to heal this connection. One more, person A. What else are you thinking? How, how else? What else are you feeling at the moment? Okay, so now they are feeling no sense of joy. They feel they don't know how to get a reconciliation back with person B. They feel they will never be kept given a second chance now. So they're feeling very down and out, wondering what to do, how I can heal this connection again. So what happened, person A? What happened in the recent past that you, you've sabotaged this connection or you're, now you're going back and forth, worried about it? What happened? Well, in the past, it seems they met somebody who was the queen above all queens, the empress. Empress, what happened? And they had a fight. Okay, one more. Empress is clarified by the empress. I love your readings, Aries. Look at this. Empress clarified by the empress. Okay, but the problem here is that uh, the judgment card came out again in reverse. Uh, somebody, I think, created some kind of unnecessary drama here. Unnecessary drama, some um, fight or argument or some harsh words. I don't know for what. I haven't understood that. But uh, maybe they were trying. Why, why, did, they, why did you do this, uh, person A, whatever happened here? You had the Queen of Pentacles and Empress in your hands. Why, why was this? Why did this happen? Some secrets came out. Something came out about what? Something about that they were not interested in commitment. Maybe the Empress, of course, an Empress deserves a commitment, right? They want to be treated like a Queen. They want to be treated as a spouse. They want to be treated with respect. But somebody here disrespected this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, look at this. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Empress is clarified by the Empress. So somebody didn't see the value of this Empress and disrespected or didn't give that offer and behaved, my God, in such a reckless manner. Uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. This is like a drama maker, jealous, just kind of behaving in a very, very immature manner. Uh, and, and because of this behavior, I think in this rashness, something could have been revealed or could have come out. I think this is this empress who decided, hey, I'm getting out of this heartbreak. I'm ending this connection. I'm not interested. I'm, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. So now person A, I think, realizes that to kind of make up with this empress, they need to come with an apology, right? So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? What's this page of cups? Page of cups. The sun. They want their happiness back. They want to come and somehow heal this connection uh, or maybe you're thinking of an apology or something but they they definitely see this empress as their happily ever after they do want to rebuild this connection even now aries they still want to rebuild this connection but i don't think they have much confidence because right after that is the ten of swords what's the ten of swords okay one more Okay, this is how they're feeling, Aries. 
this is how they're feeling that's the reason this person hasn't yet messaged till now as much as this person wants to apologize they want to rebuild they want to create that happiness back in this connection the reason for them not messaging till now is because a they feel whatever apology they're going to take is going to be rejected as much as now this person has now recognized that i have to come in as the emperor to my empress they feel now they've lost the trust of this empress there'll be anger there'll be bitterness there will be no accept there no generosity let's put it this way there'll be no generosity shown from this empress because now this uh, empress could have turned into the queen of swords right so that thought keeps them not making a move this person has now realized that they have to kind of show up as somebody who's an emperor so now the thought is how do i get this now if i go with an apology i'm going to be rejected they're not going to trust me ever again let's see what's going on in the other side why oh, didn't take action cards aries i'm so sorry okay action card for person a spirit what what is uh, the action we can expect from person a you no know, randomly take a card okay this one an action card for person b action card for person b okay okay these these we'll open later aries after we go on to the other side and check how person b is doing then we'll open these action cards so person b how do you feel person b says hey i've already walked away eight of cups i've already walked away this was a emotionally very unhappy situation for me there, there was too much stagnancy this person never offered me any long term any there was nothing to look forward to they were so slow i kind of got bored of this connection after a while and uh, yeah i kept waiting i kept waiting i kept waiting till i said enough is enough i can't wait anymore and i got myself out i i got myself out of feeling depressed and sad and unhappy and i decided i'm going to walk away eight of uh, sorry four of swords in reverse spirit four of swords in reverse yeah something came out that came out in person a side as well something was revealed something came out something was exposed here between the connection which finally person b made that decision that hey enough is enough i've seen the truth now i'm not waiting around any longer i am moving on so what happened can you tell us as well person b what happened in the recent past page of swords what's this page of swords did you spy on person a did you find out something oops okay one more what happened in the recent past okay so person a but i think person b waited for a very long time they had that intuition that this could be a good connection they felt that uh, they were the king king of cups to the queen of cups kind of a power couple meant for each other twin flame uh, i think person b had an inkling or they thought or they assumed that this is a perfect match king of cups to the queen of cups but something got blocked or stopped or maybe person a didn't take action or they behaved in a certain manner that all that feeling of that we are a perfect couple came to a halt two of cups in reverse now see carefully the queen of cups has a big cup of love the king of cups has a big cup of love and then we have the chariot in reverse which means it got stopped whether the universe intervened or whether person a sabotaged it i don't know but this perfect soulmate connection halted chariot in reverse so something was found out okay so person b how do you feel about the connection now seven of swords in reverse okay yeah this is like a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection gone wrong according to person p person b says i really hoped i had really hoped that you know together we could be that power couple and we could have this fresh stable brand new beginning which could be you no know, last a lifetime but oops 
five of swords in reverse. I caught them. I caught them doing something or say they said something which convinced me that this could not be it. This is not my forever person. This is not my soulmate. And uh, I think person B could have decided to get out of this connection. Yeah, they finally, yes. They finally realize that my person is not ready. If this is the person that the universe has sent for me, then universe, this person is still into their very 3D, you know, chasing after money and houses and cars and being very selfish and very mean and rude. Uh, well, 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 I think I will keep it moving and shaking. I'm going to move on. I would rather be single and abundant and take care of myself. I'm not going to hold on. This is, isn't this the same message, Aries, which came out in the love bite I did for you two days ago? Somebody decided that I'd rather be single than deal with a king of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so now we have both perspectives at least. Let's see what actions you guys will take. So person A, I'm going to take a, another deck for this one, Aries. And of course, my time to request you for that click of that like button helps the videos to circulate and makes me very happy. Thank you. Um, and newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can then send you notifications when new videos are released. Thank you. Okay, so person A, what action can we expect from you? The moon in reverse. Okay, why is the moon in reverse? Two many together. One second. Why is the moon in reverse, person A? Why is that an action? Do you intend to come and reveal your self or your thoughts or your heart? Okay. One more. Moon card. Why is that an action from your end? Okay. Last card. One more. Okay. The moon card is also clarified by the moon card in reverse series. Somebody really, really is now wanting to come and they want to invest. They want to speak their truth. They are very worried that uh, person B has shut this chapter down on them. They are they are gathering up their strength. I think they've been, they have been getting their, their little guidance from the universe or they are being guided back to person B for some reason. This in-between time that they've had of feeling very sad and bored and discontent with life, of just feeling unhappy, I think has kind of woken this person up or they are being guided, guided now that they have to unburden their heart. Whether person B then allows them another cycle with them or another chapter with them, I don't think that is so much on their mind as to, I just want to unburden myself. I just have to do it. They're trying to gather up their strength to send that message. So do expect a Person B, well, person A is trying to gather up the courage to send that first message. Uh, they are, of course, hoping for a brand new cycle with person B. But if nothing else, they just want to unburden themselves. They are unable to move. They are unable to move. This person ha is getting divinely guided. It's almost like you're carrying that heavy weight. Where was that card, Aries? Bottom of my deck, I had... Uh, Okay, I've lost it now. I had the Ten of Wands here. Initially, when I said the overall energy of this reading was the Ten of Wands, it's like you're carrying a huge burden, okay? Uh, in person A's uh, place, I think this heavy burden is in their heart. Till they don't reveal, till they don't express, this person is going to not be happy ever, okay? So, well, let's go on to the other side. Let's see what person B is doing. Person B, what can we expect from you? What uh, action can we expect from you? Knight of Pentacles. Well, I don't think Person B is moving. Knight of Pentacles, why is that an action? Knight of Pentacles, why is that an action from your end? Ten of Wands, I was just talking about this card. Okay. Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Hermit card. Mm. I think 
person B is not moving. They have been in hermit mode for a very long time. This person has been waiting. This, the, I think you both have been carrying that weight of uh, the stagnancy and being in hermit mode. I think person B could be ready, absolutely ready. I had this ace of uh, pentacles for them here as well. Ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles. I think this is like almost wanting a brand new beginning, a brand new start. And then we have the two of cups here. Person B, I need an answer from you. Is this two of cups with person A or uh, is this new love that you're going towards? What's this two of cups from your end? Why is that an action? Eight of pentacles. One more, please. Queen of swords. And that's too many. Just one more. What's the two of cups? Hierophant. <laughs> okay. And the six of wands. All right. So person B is not settling. I think this message also came out in the last reading. Person B is in a very good place. I think this person has really, really matured. Ever since whatever's happened with person A, this person is uh, not they've been through they've been what person a is going through like they're going through the ten of wands and the ten of swords this person has already been through that they've been through the ten of wands they've been through their hermit time they are now sitting in the queen of swords energy that hey you know uh, i'm not settling for anything less than what i deserve the ace of pentacles i am on a winning streak right now and i am looking for commitment I'm looking for commitment which is going to go the long haul. Till then, well, I'm working on myself. Beautiful cards for person B. Person A also, I would say, but they are still trying to find the courage. See, this mask is still there a little bit. Half of it is still there. Uh, they, they have to come and reveal something. This cannot go on for too long because moon card, clarified by the moon card, is like... I have to unburden myself or they're going to drown in their own sorrows from what I'm feeling. They can't sit in this energy for too long. They're ready. They're absolutely ready to show up as the emperor. But that fear is still there about this queen of swords who I saw was on the other side, right? That's what person B was saying. Here I am sitting. If you come towards me, you come correct buddy or not at all. So the bit scared of that apology or that first message to send but I don't think they can wait too long from what I'm seeing. If they do, it's not going to be good for them, for their growth. Person B is winning anyway and they are going towards maybe a new soulmate. If person A doesn't catch up, person B is very, very sure. They're very enlightened. They're very, they are on a winning streak. They're going towards happiness and commitment. Okay, so well, that's all I have for you Aries. Hope it worked for you. Until next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.